After two years of engineering and fabrication and two months of transportation, the heart of the LNG process plant arrived at its final location. The boat Daniela, carrying the main cryogenic heat exchanger, MCHE, docked at the Balaf Site Marine offloading facilities on the 1st of December 2007. Engineered and manufactured by US-based company Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated, the MCHE vessel of aluminium design weighs 300 tons, is 55 meters high and 5 meters in diameter. At 11 o'clock the offloading began. Such an impressive structure needs concentration and a good team coordination to get the job done without any incident. Several hours of work were necessary to put the MCHE on the low bed vehicle and get the supports welded to secure the load. On the following day and on its way to its final location was a stop at the washing area to get the equipment cleaned. After that the MCHE was on the move again through the busy construction site, swerving and delicately manoeuvring left and right to get to its final destination. The sun is now setting on Balaf, yet the installation team led by Gamma, the subcontractor for the LNG process trains under the main contractor, Yemgas, worked late in preparation for the arrival of the impressive structure. This is the 600 ton crane that will lift the MCHE into its final position. The MCHE has now been dressed with the Yemeni national flag, ready to make it fly high. The 300 tons tailing crane is getting into position on its floorboards. Here it comes, exclaimed some members of the team getting it ready to be lifted into place. Night has fallen on Balaf on this third day and the installation team is getting into the final phases of preparation. The sun is rising on Balaf for the big day. The team is getting ready to do the lifting operation. Everything is in place. It is time now for a briefing on the operations to come. Now that everyone knows what they have to do, the serious work starts. The main crane starts to lift the exchanger, pulling it towards its vertical position and the low bed vehicle is being removed. The tailing crane follows up the base of the exchanger. Tension is high. The MCHE, made of aluminium, needs to be handled smoothly to avoid any damage to the internal parts.
The tailing crane has now been disconnected from the exchanger and the main crane can move into the main pipe rack to place the MCHE on its foundation. A lot of care is put into the aiming process so that the equipment slips in easily. Last bolt fastening and the crane can release the weight. It's in place. Head of teams are congratulating their workers and time has come for the family photo. One more achievement for Yemen LNG as the MCHE was installed on the exact date it was initially planned, marking a major milestone in the construction of the natural gas liquefaction plant.